Good morning everyone. Uh, this is Jackie from The Face and I and I'm going to do a springtime design for you. Very cold up here right now. We are in the midst of winter and it's January and I'm thinking spring. So I have some beautiful colors and I want to do a kind of a daisy face for you. So I'm going to use my little head here because I don't paint so well on my own face and um, hopefully get a really nice design for you. So I'm going to start by taking my um, dauber. I got the cameras this way. I'm <laughs> behind me. Um, so, and as you can see, I've loaded it with a cake that I made. And this is a, kind of a lime green and a teal. Very pretty colors. And I'm going to start with my biggest sponge. And I'm going to dot it right in the middle of the face. Now, I don't like my colors straight up and down. So I always try and put them at a little bit of an angle. And I think we're going to put the blue on the bottom because it is such a strong color. I like my lighter colors to be on, um, on top. And as I can see, that's a little bit wet. I think we're going to pick up a little more color here and give it another try. And we're going to go right back over it. And when I'm on there, I'm giving a little twist just to kind of blend those colors together. Now I'm going to take my neck size down sponge and I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to reload that just to make sure we're going to get some good coverage there. And you want to keep these sponges fairly dry when you're doing this. I'm going to go right out to just above the corner of the eyebrow with these and I'm going to twist it so that the colors are in a different direction. I, I like to try and keep that like that. And I'm just going to push and give a twist. Now these colors are much prettier on a, a regular human person. but um, And we're going to turn and do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to try and keep the... Um, the green in the same spot. They're much prettier on you know regular skin, but they're still beautiful colors. And again, we're going to take the smaller one and I'm going to reload it. Make sure we've got a good strong color in there. And then I'm going to come just below the eye and in a little bit, um, so that we're kind of rounding around the the eyes here. And I think this time I'm going to put my green to the outer and more towards the bottom. And same thing over here. You can put the colors however you want to, but that's how I choose to do it and that's how I laid it out. And now we're going to take and load um, white and I'm going to get a very small brush here. This here is a uh, Princeton number two and it's a round brush and I guess a snap is the company that makes these. Um, I got these I think at Michael's in the artistry section and I just kind of fell in love with them because being left-handed they just seem to work really well for me. So we're just going to load up that brush and in the meantime we're giving this an opportunity to try up a little bit. Okay, now what I'm going to do is create the daisies on the um, dots that we just made. And I think I'm going to start with the um, smaller ones. I go just beyond the edge of the color um, and pull in with just little teardrops just like that and I will give you different shots towards the camera as I go now because I'm using such a small dot it is a little difficult to get them to look exactly like teardrops but we'll, we'll do our best do what we can And you don't really need to worry too much about that center point. 
as long as it's within the you know the area because we're going to put a yellow dot in there to create our center afterwards anyway I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side just pull those little tiny teardrops in there back and get some paint we want to make sure our white stays fairly bright now what I really like about this design is the fact that um, when you're done the color shows through the um, your color shows through the white into those petals and it's really pretty um, so there we have two little daisies on each side of the face and we're going to move up to this one and you can see I'm just kind of flicking until I get the um, size and the shape that I want. I'm not taking them too close because well I think it gives more of the daisy effect when they're not too close. And I only do the one layer. I've tried doing more than one layer and it just looks like um, a big white blob when you get done. So, And I'm putting a little twist and a turn into each section here sometimes um, just to give it some action going on there but basically you're going to continue doing this all the way until you get all of your flowers done come over to this one and remember you're staying just outside the um, your ends you're starting just outside the color Sorry for the long silence, but um, <laughs> I always get caught up in what I'm doing and forget that people want to hear me explain things. Okay. Okay, and again with this top one, just outside the, um, the color, pull a nice teardrop in like that. And another way that you can make sure you're getting your petals all where they're supposed to be and make them look kind of uniform is to do um, the 12 o'clock. And then do a 6 o'clock. A 3 o'clock. A 9 o'clock, I'm sorry. And then the three o'clock. I think my brush needs to be a little wetter here. It's not really flowing that great this morning. There we go, that's better. Okay, so then you just fill in between and then that way you've got a really, um, you know, an, a much more proportioned um, daisy. I've seen, uh, I learned this from Donna Dewberry. Um, I love One Stroke. I watched a lot of her stuff um, and she, she makes it so easy. And of course I'm fairly new so I need to really practice my teardrops more but um, I'm not doing too too bad and besides how do you learn if you don't practice so as you can see this is a really great way to get good shape and good form 
um, is to do that little trick. And I find it helps me a lot. So, and I quite often forget to use it, but um, you know, if you're one like me that comes out with lopsided flowers, maybe that's a trick that you'll like to, uh, to do. So you can see that that's pretty proportioned pretty well. It's got some good design there. So there we go. We got all our daisies done. Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just do some swirls and curls and, and do what I feel until I, I've got a, a face that I can really be happy with. And I think that... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to come off from the corner of the eye and take a swirl up here. So let's get that going. I'm just staying on the tip of my brush. And then we'll come up and give a push down and swing back up. And what I do on that side, I'm going to do on the other side, as Heather B. always says. I guess she got married, so now is it Heather G.? Heather Green. So I'm trying to find an angle here that's right for me. Staying on the tip of my brush, bringing it up. I want to make sure I stay about the same height as the other one. And we're going to push down and swirl. There we go. A little bigger than the other one, but that's what makes it unique. Gonna pull some teardrops in. Anytime I get the opportunity to do teardrops in a design, I always want to make sure that I try to because it gives me good practice. Okay, I like that so far, and I think we're going to come in with some thinner ones right up here in between the design, and we're going to curl those around a little more. And as you can see, I went higher, started low, went high. And I keep picking up paint, that's why I always go in out of the shot here. And that one did go a little higher, so let's extend this one here. And I'm kind of liking that design so far. Now I think I'm going to come off from this one and swirl around down around this one. So we're going to come right off the top of this one and bring your brush down and swirl. Just like that. Got a little thick on me, but it sometimes happens that way. We're going to come on this side and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come right off from there. And down and around. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there we go. I like it up. Now I'm going to take my brush and just flick in. I'm going to flick flick, flick, right in the corner of the eye there. And I'm going to do the same on this side. Just a couple little teardrops there on each side of the eye. I don't know how well you can see that, but there we go. Now from here, I'm going to come off from the end of here, and I'm going to swoop um, around and then twirl back the other way. 
right off from there and around that way. the same thing on, over here. And I really, um, I like the shape of that design. I really do. Now I think that we can just fill in with some smaller teardrops here and there. I'd like right in here just to do a few flicks. And on this side. And we can do a few flicks here where the two meet. And then I think we'll put some dots. Uh, I'm going to put a big dot in the center there. And over here as well. And then come out graduating smaller. Um, those are tricky. So, make them the right size and the same over here <clears throat> and from here I'm going to flick up three times and then I'm going to give it three dots down the nose. Okay, nice up here we're going to take and put a dot and then we're going to come out on each side just to kind of frame that and give it a little extra because if you look at it, it there's just a large, a large long line there that I'm not really uh, crazy about and like I said you can fix this up any way you want to but this is how I really like it so now that I've got all my white on there what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and load my brush with some yellow and make those centers that we talked about for the flower the flower should be good and dry now so we want to make sure we get our brush really really loaded so we really want those centers to pop out there. We'll go in and just... I like to try and get them a little bit on the oval side. Um, like this one you can see really dictates a round circle. Um, some of them like this one, small oval. And this one, a small oval. And if you want to, you can come back in with some orange and just put a little bit on the bottom for a uh, highlight, which I think we're going to do that. I like to try and make them as big as I possibly can so they pop right out. I'm going to take my orange. And I'm going to take a really fine brush. This here is a Paradise brush and it is a size, uh, says AQ810. Very tiny brush, very um, good for any really fine, fine, fine lining you want to do. Uh, I use this brush a lot for my line work. Um, when it comes to doing really teeny weeny tiny stuff. So I'm going to come in just below the yellow that I made and just pull a little tiny bit of a, I don't know, I'm going to try and get this in there so you can see it. Just a little bit of line underneath it just to give it some depth, give that center some, some depth.
and I usually go from like the six to the I mean the three to the nine spot with this shadow um, that's where I feel it looks good and it just really helps that center to pop out um, lighting here isn't uh, the greatest so I will do my best to get you a good shot of this but I think there we're going to call it done. You can put some glitter on the flowers here. And if you'd like, you can even do the lips. But um, I think that this is looking really good. And I, I enjoyed it. Nice springtime face with bright, cheery, colorful flowers. I'm going to try turning this light off to see if we can get um, any more. yeah it's focusing there we go so I want to thank you very much for watching and uh, sticking with me on this I'm having a great time learning and as I go um, I look for your comments your feedback and um, you know any constructive criticism you have I'd love to hear it because like I said I am a newbie and I'm sure there's tons of you out there that have ideas that I haven't even come up against yet so um, please write comment and subscribe and don't be afraid to tell me what you think thanks so much for watching have a great day everybody bye bye now